The Franklin County Coroner's report on Casey Goodson Jr. released 103 days after his death. And tonight, Goodson's mother and her attorney are responding. We're doing, we're keeping it together. I mean, you know, we are hurting, extremely hurting. They should be able to grieve. They should be able to um, figure out how to move forward. But until Jason Mead is held accountable, they can't. And that's just unacceptable and it's inhumane and we have to do better. We walked you through this autopsy toxicology report from the coroner on NBC4 at 7. Tonight, we are getting reaction to official reports that say 23-year-old Casey Goodson Jr. was shot in the back by a Franklin County Sheriff's deputy. Shot six times. This report confirms what I was first to report on February 10th when I sat down with Goodson's mother and her attorney. We talked about the findings of a private autopsy they had done. She was very emotional about that time. You'll remember that as we watch her talk about her fight for justice. And when they got the results back from that autopsy report that they paid for privately, I know they told you that they were hoping that these reports would reflect the findings of their report. Theirs came back much more quickly. We know the toxicology report that was released today is dated in January. None of this, though, made public until her attorney made it public today. And so I spoke with them tonight just hours after they made this report public. And it's really interesting that when we started our conversation, she seemed to be a bit relaxed, if you will, because every time that I sat down in a room with her, she was she was tense. Uh, and, and she seemed to be a bit relaxed. She said she was more comfortable, but as the conversation went on, you saw emotions kick in. We do want to make a note that this also includes the toxicology report, which is what they say they were waiting for. In the toxicology report, there were more than a dozen drugs that were tested for routine. This is part of a toxicology report from the Franklin County Coroner's Office when they do an autopsy like this. All of the drug tests came back negative, except for two. There were, there were signs that there was nicotine in his system. That was not a surprise. He was known to be a smoker. There were also indications that he had uh, uh, cannabinoids, they call it, in his system, but at a trace level. It's not, they call it LOQ, a low quantitative. They were not able to test it at any amount. And when I spoke with them tonight, they told me that no matter the amount, it doesn't matter because it shouldn't have played a role in this shooting. Six bullets, two entrance wounds are listed as being mid back, two to the left side, one to the right, and one to the right buttock. The Franklin County Coroner's report released by family attorneys Wednesday also shows gun fragment wounds to the backs of Casey Goodson Jr.'s arms. I want Jason Me terminated, charged, and arrested, indicted, and arrested immediately. There's nothing else to wait for. Meade, a Franklin County Sheriff's deputy, shot and killed Goodson on December 4th of last year. He said Goodson pointed his gun at him. Investigators also said Goodson waved his gun at members of a U.S. Marshals Task Force who were in Goodson's North Columbus neighborhood looking for a suspect. What is clear to us from the uh, trajectory of the bullet path and, and the entry wounds is that Casey was shot in his back while entering his home. It's likely that his screen door was on his back because his keys were in the door. He had his, his uh, subway in his hand and he ended up being shot in his back and uh, bleeding out on, on, on his kitchen floor. So, you know, not sure if he was shot while on the ground. We can't say that's going to be up for the FBI, but it is uh, uncontroverted that he was shot in his back repeatedly with a high powered weapon, and this was murder. Statement you just said, you told me that a month ago. What makes it different today? Absolutely nothing. And nothing was different on December 4th when Casey's grandmother said that she saw shots in his back. And so we understand that an investigation has to take place because that's what's fair, right? But Casey did not receive a fair shot here. Casey's life was taken. And so there has to be some expediency, some urgency uh, with this investigation. Goodson's mother says the report shows what everyone has been waiting for, what she calls the truth. This is a cold-blooded murder, and it doesn't get any clearer than the autopsy report. It doesn't get any clearer than the coroner's report. It does not get any clearer. There's nothing else to wait for. I'm just ready for Jason Mead to be arrested. I'm ready for him to be locked up. Um, the truth is out there, so I'm very happy with that. Jason Mead remains on administrative leave. His attorney, who maintains the shooting was justified, told us tonight he had not seen the new reports and could not comment. So 
We'll check in with him tomorrow. We asked Sheriff Dallas Baldwin for comment. He sent us a statement that says in part, the coroner's report doesn't provide all of the facts needed to give us answers. And we should tell you that attorney Walton calls that comment a slap in the face. Uh, in this report that we got just earlier this evening is obviously going to be examined by a lot of people and then it will be sent ultimately to the new prosecutor, Gary Tyak, for a decision on whether or not charges will be filed. So much uh, this family is talking about, they say to keep them in mind. Remember, he was the oldest of 10 siblings. And again, she said, one of his five year old brothers continues to talk about him every day. We have reaction from city leaders. We also have more reaction from the Franklin County Sheriff's Office as well as Jason Meade's attorney. It's all online right now. You can find it on our website, NBC4I.com.